Hi, lovely girl. How are you? Did y'all, um, so did y'all see the premiere today? Let me know if y'all saw that premiere today. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> and the phone call I had earlier today made it all better. So, I guess I'm going to talk about, yes. I guess I'm going to talk about, like, um, when everything is going to happen. So, um, at first they were... Yeah, at first they were wanting me to thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. It was a very short video, but I had that sitting in the queue for like a month or two. And it was going on three. And I was like, home visits is good enough to release this. Um, yes, trying to be on a roll. And um, I was like, I guess home visits is good enough to release this video. Because it's like he's coming home. And... um. So I guess I'll tell y'all about like, you know, um, how it's going to happen. Um, so I talked to the social worker today and she said, um, I act, well, first of all, when I went to the visit to visit the baby at the center today, I asked the lady that was walking back that supervises that monitors my visits. I said, um, do you do home visits? She said, yeah, we do. And I said, um, they're saying you guys are short staff. Is there any way that someone will be able to monitor my home visits? Because that was the only problem we was having was like, who's going to monitor the baby coming home for the visit? And so she was like, oh, if I watch you anyway on Tuesdays and Thursdays, all I got to do, all I got to do is, um, I'm sorry, y'all, I got my, um, my iPad too. Um, all I have to do is just, it's just change the location basically. So if I got a visit from, 11 30 to 1 30 then all that has to happen is like you know we just do it at my house and so she was like i watch you during that time anyway and then the guardian at litem um the guardian at litem is basically wanting me to have an extra day during home visits because he's so tiny and little and needs to you know get used to his home and everything so she wants me to have three days so since they're short staffed they don't feel like i could get a third day so what she did was to make up for the third day we'll just squeeze an extra hour in each day because i get two hours each day at the center so she's saying basically um thank you for watching it y'all uh so basically she's saying that uh she'll just throw two extra hours in on them two days of visits. So instead of me getting two hours, um, four hours a week, I'll get six hours a week. So on, um, so instead of it being two hours on um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, it would be three hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and i get six hours in two days since we they're short staff and they can't find somebody to do the extra day. So I'm very happy about that. And, and she told me it could start next week. I'm so happy for him to get used to his home, his bassinet. I wanna um, oh, um I wanna um his I was gonna try to see if his dad could put together his bouncer today. So that when we doing the home visits, I can place him in his bouncer, he can get used to it. He can go in his bassinet. Yes, he will do it. Yes, he will do it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm just ready. Like I'm too pumped. Like, I'm going to have to, I think that foster mom be tripping, though, because she's saying that he's already, he just got into ones, and yes, he's 12 pounds, but he don't fit the diapers like he's 12 pounds, and I'm not about to throw away all these diapers. I got a big box of size ones back here, and um, she's like, oh, don't, she text, what she said, she texted me, and she said, um, don't buy too many size ones, because He's getting into size twos. Thank you. And she feels like she he's teething already at four months. I thought that would be a little quicker at six months. Maybe that's maybe I really ain't had a baby in a long time. I'm excited too. I'm so ready. And my social worker says she's gonna reach out to the um to the visitation agency tomorrow. Um, call the visitation center tomorrow to see if she could uh transfer it from the center to my house. 
So I was like, how does that work? She was like, basically the foster mom drops the baby off at children's services and I take them. That's what I, that's what I was trying to figure out. Um, because she said he putting his hands near his mouth. We don't really see him putting his hands in his mouth like that, but yeah, I worked really hard on my case plan. I'm ready. So the visits will be home visits until he comes home all the way. And so, um, and then the, the, the parenting class is going to get involved and then they'll take over, uh, doing some hours in the home with me, with the baby as well. So they saying he's possibly teething. I need to go get some oral gel for him. Yep, I worked my case plan and everything. I hate that I had to sign over temporary custody to them until everything is finished. But hey, it's better than that psyche vial being read at court because that psyche vial looked it. It was trash. It was trash. And I'm just so happy. I just want him to be in his own home. Hi, Michelle Hyatt. Did you see the premiere? It was very short, but you know. Um, no, the case is not closed. It's still gonna be open for a little while longer, but he is getting home visits starting next week. So Thursday when I go visit him um, at the center will be the last day I do a visit at the center. And then I guess the foster mom will drop the baby off at the visitation center and the visitation, the person who monitors my visits will bring the baby to me and then take the baby back to children's services and the foster mom will take the baby back to her house. Yes. He is awesome. And I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful that he's still, you know, giving me grace because there was times where I felt like I doubted him because of everything I go through. And it's just like, why, why do I keep going through stuff? So I'm glad that I, I like, he still has grace on me though. I doubt certain things like things that are going on in my life. I hope y'all can hear my, my neighbor's music. So ignorant. Hi, Keisha Kirkland. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Diane. He's got no choice because that's what he knows right now. I hate talking about that. Hey, Alexis. I hate talking about him knowing his foster mom because I will foster caregiver because I'm the only mom. I don't give a damn. Thank you. And so I'm. Hey, pretty little butterfly. I'm going to try my best to kind of like vlog with the baby being at home for a couple of hours. But I'm a little nervous about that because I got to have a stranger in my home with me with the baby. So I, I don't know if they're going to be talking about I was on my phone recording with the baby or... Exactly. My baby, my children's father was talking to me about that tonight. He was like... You never know what you may be putting out there or who you're... Oh, what's the good news? Oh, I start home visits next week. Yeah. I just don't want y'all to feel like I'm keeping y'all out the loop. I do want to record, but it's just like... I don't, Even though there's a, it's at my house and I can do what I want, I feel like they could have the potential to be like, well, she was on her phone recording and doing YouTube videos with the baby instead of paying attention to the baby. So I kind of don't want to risk it, but whenever I can sneak them little moments in, I will. Yeah, like record and upload them later. I'm just, I'm scared of risking it. I want him to come home permanently. Yep, that's true. It's not worth the bad report. That's what I'm nervous of. And then I got a stranger in my house like, um, what is she doing? <laughs> Oh, my God. Thank y'all for y'all patience. Some of y'all comments was making me cry. Yes. I need to focus on the child. Yeah. And um, not the next video that's coming out next Tuesday, but the video after that, I will have... Oh, wow. 
Yeah, I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to try to capture some moments. I'm feeling real good. Um, but what I was saying was not this video that's coming this next Tuesday, but the video after that, I will actually, oh, thank you. I will actually have that Amazon link for the baby made out. I figured out how to get on Amazon and put in the stuff, um, for you guys to get him. But I will have to, my child's father said he'll open up the P.O. box and pay for it. Yeah, it should have never happened. Yep, that's what it's called. The case aid is going to watch. Yep. You right, Keisha Keys. It's a case aid. And she's a nice black young girl. She's really, really nice. Um, And she just be like, I just hope y'all get y'all baby. She gave, always gave good reports. And that helped a lot. Yep, she, that's what it's called, a case aid. Um, I don't know how many court dates I have before the case is closed, but I know every three months we do something called a review. I think so too. Y'all, why am I? Yes, thank you. I just don't want to leave y'all hanging in the wind, but I'm, I am. Even if I got to make a video out of me opening up the P.O. box or something to, to make up for, because I'm scared to record with this lady in my home, and I don't want to get no bad report, I, I'm going to find something out to, to do until he come home. So, like, I'm going to try to have my child's father put together a stroller, Oh, thank you, lovely girl. I'm glad I could be of inspiration. This is what I do it for. This is exactly what I do it for. Yes, he is going to fix it. Yep, I'm going to record the process. And so I did that Amazon list. I ain't got that much stuff on there. I was trying to find the cheapest value of everything um, for people to give, like, $9, $7 stuff. The most I go up to is, like, $20. I don't. I don't put expensive stuff on him because it's not your money. It's other people being willing to gift you and gift the baby. So I, I picked out, like, you know, cheap stuff. So, yeah, I will record the process. I Maybe I can record, too, like, before he get there. Um, I could just let her know, like, you know, he's on his way. The baby is coming. So, mm-hmm. Mm hmm I'm so happy. Like, wow. Thank you. I think I'm going to make it with him like I didn't with my other kids. I made it with my other kids. It's just, I don't know what the hell was wrong with the judge. I think I just had all negative Nancys. Oh, thank you. Oh! Y'all sharing my story with y'all loved ones. I love y'all. Yeah, I know. I just don't, you know, I know money can be tight for people. But I'm I'm a definitely, the most I go up to is like $20. Like I even found a sit-up chair for like $15. And I was like, oh, that's not bad. I will. I would definitely do that for my list. You never know who will purchase it for you. I will, but I try to stay on the cheaper end. I found a sit-up chair for him for $15 on there, and I put that on there. I found a booger picker because every time that I go to the visit, he be having dry boogers in his nose, and I'll be trying to stick, like, my pinky nail in there real gent and pick out his boogers. I put a booger picker in there for, like, $7. I try to find the cheapest stuff that I know he need, like stuff I even notice that he need when I'm at the visit, like a booger picker or a sit-up chair, because he be slouching a little bit when we try to sit him up, so I want to, like, work on him sitting up, so I put a uh, sit-up chair in there. Thank you, Strawberry Banana. <laughs> mm -hmm. When will I get my child? 
Um, I don't know yet. I know we got to work through these home visits and see how the process goes at home. And once that goes well, um, it's just going to start out being monitored home visits. And then after the monitor home visits, the parenting class agency will come in and monitor some visits and I guess do hands-on parenting. I don't really need all of that, but whatever, I'll do it. Thank you, Donovan. Do what you need to do to bring your baby home, even if you record. Keep it for your memory. I definitely will. I definitely will. I'm ready for my child's father, my children's father, to put together his stroller so we can take walks on the monitor visits. We ain't got to sit in the house. I want him to put that bouncer together so he'll have it. I'm going to start. Um, I got to get him some teething rings. I'm going to put that on there, too, since he teething on the list. What? Oh, wow. I mean, if I see something, I'll put it on there. Oh, yeah, unsupervised should come quickly. Since you're, yeah, because that's what the guardian ad litem said. She said what's in the best interest is for him to have at least three days at home for three hours and then turn it into overnight. Then I know for a fact when the review comes, <laughs> that guardian ad litem going to be fighting, boy. Like, I think it's time that we start overnights. And then uh, the, the, the meeting that I got to have with my social worker, uh, the meeting that I got to have with my social worker next month, because I have a meeting with her every month, the guardian ad litem is going to be sitting in on this meeting. So I guess her and my guardian ad litem are going to discuss what should happen next um, next month if I guess there's progress with the home visits. But like they said, I haven't gotten, I haven't had to be redirected during visits ever. So that's a good thing. Yes, it's just that they, I guess all the government agencies are understaffed. So it's just like, I had to ask the lady when I went to the visit today. I was like, um, I know they saying they understaffed, but um, if how, how do home visits work? They trying to give me home visits. She was like, if I already watch you on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I would be the one to do it. It's just they trying to add an extra hour because they want me to do three days instead of two. No, still black Jesus. Nobody was getting out of jail. Stop trolling. Y'all be trolling. <laughs> but, yeah, I do too. I lived in it all my life. You know, my child's, my children's father was scaring the hell out of me. He was like, we signed that paper. Did we sign something we wasn't supposed to sign? I was like, no. Hi, Missy. Hi. I was like, no. If you didn't sign that paper, the the psyche vibe would have came all out in court, and we would have been fighting like we did when we first got him took. I said, I don't want to go through that. If we sign this paper, we just got to go through the parenting class, and we start the home visits. Oh. Yeah. I'm just so ready. Oh, well, I thought you was trolling because you asked that I just get out of jail. I'm like, who talking about jail? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do what's right. Exactly. Because I know on Fridays, I can have a stuff thrown around the house on up until Friday. I tell my daughter, when Sunday hit, we clean up. Because I never know when a social worker coming on that week. Oh, caseworker and home visit. Oh, well, y'all, that's what happened in jail, too? I don't know. I ain't never been to jail. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. When we was at the doctor, am I tripping? Because when we was at the doctor, the lady who is the foster mom to my baby, 
kissed my baby. No, 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 not my baby. She kissed the other baby on the forehead. I had a problem with that. Oh, no, yeah. Because them biological kids want their mama. Yes, baby. E coming home starting next week for three hours, twice a week. I cannot wait. Oh, yeah. When it comes to foster care and you mix foster kids with your biological kids, it's a lot because... I know I felt some kind of way when I was in foster care and the lady took both her biological daughters to Disneyland and didn't come back and take us. And I'm like, okay, you took your real kids to Disneyland. Okay, what about us? Can you leave them here and take us now? Because if I'm a foster mom, I'm not going to take my real kids to Disneyland. Either I'm going to take all of them, my real kids and the foster kids, or I'm going to take the foster kids first so they don't feel no kind of way because my real kids will always be my real kids and then come back and take my kids. Like, come on now. I know Disneyland is expensive, but I felt some kind of way. Like, the kids get kind of like, they just territorial. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's why, because the guardian Melada, she's an old lady. She was like, I just don't believe in... You know, the, the baby not bonding. He's still young. I want him to bond with you. I want him to come home and, you know. No, 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 no. Um, not a doctor. Hi, Ashley Barrett. Um, no, no, not a doctor. The foster mom who has my baby. She has my baby and another baby. And she, I guess it was just kind of like, uh, what would you call it? Like a just a reflex? Because people like kissing on baby. She kissed that other baby on the forehead. And I was like, I hope she's going to be doing that to my... I don't like people kissing on my... Don't kiss on my child. I don't know what you got going on with your lips and your mouth. And you married and got a husband. I don't know if you brush your teeth after you did do. I just don't... I'm not comfortable. When I seen her kiss the other baby, I was like, um, I hope she don't be doing that to my baby. Yes. Yeah, she kissed the other baby. It's a Caucasian baby, and then it's my baby. And the lady who has both of them, my baby and the other baby, is Caucasian. And she kissed the Caucasian baby in the, on the forehead. And I know it was on the forehead, but it was just like, I hope she don't be kissing on my damn baby. I don't play around with that. Like, you got a whole husband, and the Lord knows what y'all be doing, and you, I don't know if you brush your teeth. I don't, mm -mm. Don't kiss my baby. You you a stranger. You're not family. Don't kiss on my child. Like you can hug and like cheek kiss them, but don't put your mouth on my baby. Come on now. I know that babies need love because they newborns, but cheek kiss him. Don't use your actual lips and kiss my baby. You kiss your own children, not not somebody else's. No, I didn't, um, and I keep forgetting to bring it up to my social worker, but I'm going to definitely bring it up because anything I have a problem with, I definitely speak about it because I, I was just like, uh, -uh. And, and I ain't going to lie, my social worker be calling out the foster mom too because my the foster mom wants to put my baby on, um, she wants to put my baby on organic, uh, what is it called, goat milk. And my social worker was like, did you want to put your baby on gold milk? Because I feel like that's something she wants to do. I only will allow her to do it if you want her to do it. Okay, A. Valdo, you sound silly. Oh, okay. I thought it was just me. I just wanted to make sure. Because so I was like, maybe I'm tripping because it was just a forehead kiss. But I just... Mm. But, yeah. If I'm a foster mom, I'm not going to kiss nobody, baby, with my own lips. I'm going to cheat kiss them, but, mm, mm Oh, yeah, yep. She asked me. She was like, I just feel like that she's pushing it, and I feel like that's what she wants to do. Yeah, I figured that, too. 
I figured that, that that goat milk was too early for that. And I want him, I want, um, she said she got, she got a goat farm. And, uh, that's how she was going to get the goat's milk. Wait a minute, a goat farm. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, the doctor said she can't do it anyway because he, the doctor says she can't do it anyway because even though he's meeting his curve, he wants the baby to be on the milk that he's on for a year regular baby milk for a year before you just turn him over to goat milk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, that's what I was thinking, Michelle. Like, after 12 months, maybe he can do goat's milk because at 12 months, you're supposed to stop formula and do regular milk anyway. Have I been to whose house? The foster mom's? No. We're not allowed to go to the foster mom's house because, you know, that's a hazard. If you let... A biological mom go to the foster mom's house. Oh yeah, they, it'd be all kind of kidnapping going on. We don't we don't get to know where they live at or anything. They don't get to know where we live at. We don't get to know where they live at. Just like when the home visit starts, they're gonna do them at the visitation center. They're gonna the foster mom is gonna have to drive to the visitation center like she's been doing, and the case aid is gonna have to drive the baby to my house. Yeah, it just cuts down on you know. Thank you, Nikki. Yeah, I'm definitely going to talk to her about that. I didn't say too much because it wasn't my baby that she kissed. But you don't know if she do that to both of them. And I'm not cool with a stranger putting their lips on my baby. I, I, I don't even kiss my baby. I, like, beep beep with his nose and I, you know, play with him with my cheeks. And I'm his mom. I have the relationship I'm supposed to have with my other children. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will try not to worry about pricing. I'm just a very humble person. I want to be thankful, and I don't want people to be like, oh, she's taking advantage. I, I don't do that. But I would definitely try not to worry about that. But I did start the Amazon list. The video after next, because I want to give myself time to put stuff on the Amazon list, um, to think of stuff that he may need, and then I'll come out with it the following video. Oh, that is beautiful. See, the only reason why I won't have a relationship with the foster mom that I have, uh, even after the case is closed, is because I've been attached to children's services all my life from age 3 to 18, and then with all my kids. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and then with all of my kids. Um, and so, like... I've been attached to them all my life. And it just feels like, oh, gosh, she's attached to children's services. I don't want I don't want no relationship with her after the baby comes home. It's, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. I just, I've been linked to CSB all my life. All my life. Like, when I was three, all the way to 18. And then every kid I had, they were involved. And I had three kids and raised them until they were all toddlers. And then they got involved. Like, And then with this baby, I want to break from that. Like, I want to get them out of my life totally. Like, it's not to be mean or nothing. I just, I, you work for children's services. And in that event, say I call you. Mm-hmm. Say I call you and be like, oh, since we had this relationship, can you watch the baby for a couple hours? And I don't know if you're going to stab me in the back and call CSB and be like, oh, she asked me to watch me. No. That's when we let go of that relationship. I don't trust. Yeah. And it seems like that's what they target. Like, if you've been in foster care, your baby ended up in foster care. Yes, Lakinia. Because if, maybe if I didn't have a life in csb and didn't get my kids took and this was like maybe a first time thing i could probably look into doing that yes exactly that's exactly what it is with kenya i want to leave her experience behind and move forward mm -hmm. and let me not say that on live i don't want to live in the united states after he come home when the case closed i'm gone 
because I just feel like every time I came back to Akron, I had this the same issue. Like I'm gone. I just don't like Ohio. <laughs> it is leaving a bad taste in my mouth. I want to get out the fucking country. I don't even want my son Americanized. Mm -hmm. It is. It's like PT. Like I would be paranoid as hell if my baby came home and I was still dealing with the foster mom. Like, is she watching me? Is she trying to report back to get my baby? Mm -mm. You halfway out the states. So you halfway out the states. So where are you? Like Canada or something? Because that's the closest thing that I could think of. I don't know. I just want to... Out of the 88 counties of Ohio, it is good enough for me. I don't even have to go to a different country. Out of the 88 cities um, of Ohio, oh, you in Cali. Man, I've been looking at New Orleans video vlogs and living in, in, in actually Los Angeles. And it just looks so lit. But people be chasing like the superstar life there. Like, if I get big money doing YouTube and inspiring others, I probably would move to California. It looked lit there. Like, I'll be looking. I, I'm fascinated with it. I used to be fascinated with New York. Oh, wow. Oh, because my um child's father want me to do that. He, want, he wants me to go first, then he'll send Faith. And he wants the other two kids that he has custody of to go too. He don't want none of his kids Americanized. I know it is. It's probably like Las Vegas. Hey, Boss Lady Jones. Yeah, I would um I would see Fat. He wants me to go. My my children's father wants me to go. He was like, you go first. And then I'm coming right behind you. You live in Los Angeles, I know it is. It's got to be lit. Man, I, when I went to when I went to Vegas, it was expensive. Like where we played, where like where we like where we pay $6 for a my son in the chat, y'all. <laughs> What's up, Jay? Oh, what was I saying? Oh, like where we went to Las Vegas, um, where we paid five, six to eight dollars for a happy meal, it was twenty dollars for a, a whole meal. I, I prefer hot over cold. Are you working? Why are you on live? Boy, you better get back to work. Don't lose your job, boy. That's my son, y'all, uh, Mr. J. Black. Y'all say hi to my other son. He's 18. That's my grown child, my firstborn. Oh, you in the window. <laughs> yeah, Mr. J. Black. Oh, boy, I didn't think you would be on my live. Oh, yeah, in L.A. And they probably give out a hefty voucher in L.A. Because it's so expensive. I know that. It don't look like nothing like what they give here in Ohio. I wish I could get a housing voucher. I always wanted one. Never had one. Jay, you going to say hi to people? They speaking to you. <laughs> Mr. J. Black, he probably at work in the window. Yeah, that's my 18-year-old, my first kid. He finna be 19 in July. <laughs> so, for those of y'all asking, what's my relationship with my kids? There you have it. He's in my chat. <laughs> there you have it. He's in my chat. <laughs> Go to the Beyonce tickets. I, I ain't got no Beyonce money. I know she want money for she bougie. She want money for her stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
How much you went to see Beyonce before Donovan? How much was it? I know it was expensive as hell. You should have asked your case. What could I help you get one? Most people get them with CPS and cash. What? I would definitely ask. If I don't ask for nothing else, I ask for that. I know I'm supposed to call down to the office where I live at and get um, transferred to a family housing unit, though. Oh, it was only 250 Mm. Yeah, I don't really mess with Beyonce like that. I ain't gonna say why, but I, you probably know why. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna ask. Would they do that? I, a matter of fact. I'm going to ask them if they can help me get transferred faster. Since y'all in my business and want to help, help that. <laughs> I need to be transferred to family housing. I'm trying to go to Edgewood, though. Them apartments is nice. Yes, I'm definitely going to ask. Yeah, definitely can't do that because I ain't going to have no babysitter. I, ain't, I already ain't got no support. I'm planning on being buckling down, taking care of my baby. I don't care about nothing else. And the same goes for what I thought when I was pregnant. Like, I just want to buckle down and take care of this baby. That's it. And it's going to be the same as of now. Um, no, I posted a, a premiere video with him. Um, I posted a premiere video with him today at 7.30. So you could look at it and it's got like at the end, I introduced him to y'all and I put his name on the screen. I edited his name on the screen so y'all could see him in his little swing. Yep, I'm gonna try to get a voucher. Thank you, lovely girl. He is. That's my last and final son. I ain't having no more. My tubes is tired. I got two boys and two girls. So it's even. I'm about to get off here in a second. I just wanted to come and do a... um. Yep, the perfect mix. But everybody else going to be grown doing anything. It's just going to be Faith and Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get off here, y'all. So um, I got a question for those wanting to uh, do the Amazon thing. Do I open up a P.O. box for that? Or do I just go to an Amazon locker? Do y'all know? Thank you. Or I'll try to figure it out if I go to like an Amazon locker spot and ask them, what do I do? But I think I should just pay for a P.O. box. Oh, you can't see an address? So how does that work? Do I just... Because I've never did it before. You can hide it or do a P.O. box separately. Oh, see, I wouldn't want it to come to my house, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, The only reason why is because where I live at, they don't allow people to bust they, even a company upstairs. So it'll say if nobody let the Amazon man in to deliver your packages. They'll take it back to Amazon or wherever they got it from. Okay, I'm going to get a P.O. box. They'll take it back to Amazon or wherever they got it from. And, like, I've had to do that with everything I've ordered. So, a lot lately, I've been sending it to my baby dad's address and having him bring it to me when he bring me faith on the weekends. Because 
I got my bed mattress off of um, Amazon and I had, they couldn't deliver it. They tried to deliver it three times because nobody was downstairs. They couldn't deliver it three different times and I needed my bed. So I just, I, I think I'm going to do a, a P.O. box or do an Amazon hole for pickup. Okay. Yes, I'm definitely about to give me a P.O. box. When my baby dad called me on my ass, come, did you want to pay for it? Did you want us to go together to go get it? Because he said he'll pay for it. Because I had let him know that there's people wanting to send him stuff. Yep, I'm about to get a P.O. box. Whatever address on your Amazon account. Okay. Well, I'm going to change the address on my Amazon account. I'm going to make sure it can be seen, and I'm going to change it to a P.O. box. I will definitely do that. Now, when when him come home for a visit, I could do, you know, whatever, whatever. All right. I will see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in.